Hi everyone, welcome to Carlos Cooks again. Well, I've had a request to make um, sourdough pretzels, um, so I thought we'd have a go at that today. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some pretzel dough up, uh, leave it to sit and rise for about 45 minutes, and then we'll be making some pretzels out of it. Um, and we're going to make half the dough sugar and cinnamon, and half the dough a coarse um, pink rock salt coated. So this should be very nice. So I'm just making the um, ingredients up for the dough to go in the stand mixer and then we're going to give it about four minutes on there to get the dough together before we leave it, cover it with cling film. So in here we've got a strong white bread flour, we've got three cups of that and then to that we're going to add a tablespoon of soft, softened butter, a tablespoon of sugar, uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt two teaspoons of um, active dry yeast and three quarters of a cup of whole milk and also the key ingredient um, sourdough discard so that's what's left over from my um, sourdough um, yeast the discard that I pour off um, once I've fed it before I feed it each day um, so I've got a big pot of that and we're going to put a cup of that into this mixture and get it into the uh, into the stand mixer. So let's get on with that now. So just tip the butter in. So at room temperature, that butter it's quite soft. And then our sugar, and then salt just to the other side from the yeast. Keep it away from the yeast, or it will kill the yeast. Put the yeast this side with the sugar. This is the only liquid going in at the moment, but we're going to add maybe a little bit of water to help this dough stick together if it's uh, not, not got enough moisture in it to mix it. So let me just pour out the sourdough starter now, one cup of that. Very yeasty mixture. It's a little bit runny because it is the discard, so it's not been fed either. That's most most important. So that is all of our dough ingredients, and let's say we're going to put that on the stand mixer now. I'll give it about. It's going to take about four minutes. You could do it by hand if you wanted to, it's going to take you about probably 10-12 minutes to knead the dough once you've got it mixed with a spoon first. So it's a lot, a lot quicker and a lot easier in here. So I'll get that mixing and then uh, we'll cover that over with cling film and come back to it in about 45 minutes time. Okay, the dough's been mixing for about 5 minutes, started it on slow and then just gradually pushed it up to bit of a higher speed just to break the gluten up in the dough. We've got a lovely soft pliable almost plasticine like dough there. So that's going to go into a mixing bowl now and uh, be covered with cling film and we'll leave that for 45 minutes to an hour and then we can start the next uh, stage where we're going to roll it and shape it. Okay the dough's been resting for just over an hour um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to portion it up. I've just made it, flattened it out into a loaf sort of size. We're going to roll it out quite thin, um, about half inch thick, maybe a li little bit less. And then we're going to cut it into about 12 equal lengths. And each of those lengths we're going to roll like you're, um, you know, you're making a French stick or something similar to that. And they're going to be about a ruler and a half in length. So, you know... Um, maybe a bit less ruler and a third in length so 18 inches roughly and then each of those will will roll until they're smooth and then just leave them on the side for a bit longer just to get a second proof for about 10 minutes before we form the pretzel shapes um, and then the pretzels are going to be um, dipped or brushed rather with a baking soda wash 
which will help crust and flavour the outside of the press pretzel. Um, and then after that they'll go into the oven. So I'm going to roll this out, I'll show you when it's rolled out and then I'll show you when the, once they've been cut as well. Okay, I put a little bit of flour on the work surface and I mean it just a tiny bit before I rolled it out. The dough is really um, good to work with, it's not sticky at all like a normal bread dough. Um, the butter in it helps it move around and it's got a lovely texture so you don't need a lot of flour at all. And um, rolled it out to about half inch thick and it's around about a good length. We're going to roll it so it's going to go a little bit longer than that. They're probably about 14 inches at the moment so they're going to get a little bit of extra length as we roll them. And uh, I divide it in half, then divide it in half and divide it in half again and then each portion into three so we've got a full 12 strips there. So now I'm going to roll them all up, get them at equal length, just roll them gently on the surface, put them to the back um, and I'll show you when I've done that so that you can see what they look like and then we're just going to let them rest for a few minutes and I'll make the um, baking soda dip for them while we're doing that and get the oven preheated. Okay, here's the classic pretzel shape. I'm going to show you how to do one and I'm going to try and do it with one hand so I can keep the camera and show you how easy it is. So you get your length of dough, turn it into a U shape first of all, like that. Then you're going to cross over the tops like that and then you're going to cross it over once more just to get a knot like that at the top and then it's just a question of bringing this part over and down like, like that. Very easy. I'll show you one more. Length of dough. First into a U shape. Cross them over. Then cross them over once more. Just so you've got that knot there. And it's just a question of bringing the whole knot down to the base. And just tidying it up a little bit. Like that. Those two are better than that one, but we can shape them when they're on the, uh, the tray and tidy them up a little bit, look. So I'll make the rest of those. Um, the first six are going to be salted ones, so they're going to be done in this bicarbonate of soda and water mixture I've got here that I'm going to brush over them. And that was one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, baking soda, and two tablespoons of water. So it's quite a, you know, quite a white, sort of powdery sort of mixture there that we're going to put over them. And on the salted ones, I've got a very coarse grained pink rock salt, Himalayan rock salt. You can get proper pretzel salt that you can use, but that, I'm just going to use that. So once that uh, baking soda water has gone on and glazed them I'm going to cover them in this as well before they bake. Okay I've finished the salted ones the oven's up to temperature 175 degrees so they're going in now for around 15 minutes. Okay I've melted some butter in the microwave just a very large knob of it in the microwave just for a few seconds just to melt it that's ready with a brush to go over these pretzels as soon as they come out of the oven whilst, whilst they're still hot um, and then straight after that here is the cinnamon sugar bath so I've done three heaped dessert spoons of uh, caster sugar and one and a half heaped dessert spoons of cinnamon ground cinnamon and that's just made a, a nice coating for them we're going to dip both sides in that as soon as they've had the butter glaze so we'll probably do those straight away as they come out of the oven while they're still warm Okay, that's all the uh, pretzels out of the oven now. Our salted pretzels, which are coated in the um, baking soda and water, glaze before baking. It just gives a bit of texture to the outside of the uh, pretzel. And then as soon as they've come out, they've had a glaze with melted butter, just to give them a bit of a sheen. And these are sourdough soft 
press pretzels they're not the really crispy ones but they look delicious and they smell delicious too and these smell even more delicious these are the six cinnamon sugar ones so same process again baking soda coating before baking and then they've um, been glazed with melted butter and dipped in the cinnamon sugar as you can see they've baked lovely on the other side they're nice to eat now but they will benefit from just um, cooling down a little bit so I'm going to try one of the salted ones now with a cup of tea and sit in the garden so I think I deserve a, a well earned rest so I hope you enjoyed that video have a go at making these there's loads of other recipes on the internet for them but if you do make sourdough starter using your discard up to make these is ideal so I'll see you next time